hibernation is one of the more unusual animal behaviours in nature. However, just one of three related animal adaptations to the changing environmental conditions. These are hibernation, dormancy and estivation. The word hibernation comes from the Latin hiberna, which means winter, explains why the Romans coming from the warm Mediterranean called Ireland Hibernia. Estivation again is based upon the Latin estus, which means summer. So animals that hibernate do it when the temperature drops and food becomes scarce. They're going to a form of deep sleep. They conserve energy and enable them to survive till the warmer weather returns. Whereas animals that go into estivation, avoiding hot, dry temperatures. Dormancy is where animals hardly move at all, but they're still conscious and aware of their surroundings for a significant portion of their resting time. First thing to say is that hibernation is generally associated with mammals rather than other animals. However, this is not because reptiles, amphibians and others don't have long periods with little movement to conserve energy. It's the case it's generally dormancy or estivation rather than hibernation in their cases. Next, no matter what method is adopted, the animal still needs to be able to respire or breathe. So even if it's a frog at the bottom of a pond or buried deep in the mud, it still requires some option, even if much smaller amounts due to dramatically slowed levels of respiration. The oxygen levels drop too low, the animal suffocate as a result. This can be a significant risk for those animals in those kinds of conditions where low oxygen is a problem. Those animals hibernating or going into dormancy because of colder temperatures, cold itself of course represents a significant threat itself. An insulating layer of fat can significantly reduce heat loss. But the longer the animal is inactive, the more it will use up those fat reserves, result more prone to the cold as the fat layer itself is reduced. This situation is made worse for smaller animals due to the surface area to volume ratio. The smaller an animal is, the greater the surface area of skin it has in relation to the volume of the animal. This combined with the general thinner layer of body fat means they can lose heat more rapidly than larger animals. Why smaller animals, especially mammals, tend to be nests full of insulating material to help reduce the heat loss. Now, some mammals can survive by allowing their body temperature to fall to around freezing whilst hibernating. However, some amphibians take this a step further and can use sugars and alcohol in their blood to form a kind of antifreeze, which allows them to drop, drop well below freezing and still remain alive. Now, not all animals hibernate an entire winter. If the weather warms up significantly, the animal may come out of hibernation and take advantage of any food sources available before going back to sleep as the weather cools again. In order to successfully hibernate or otherwise remain inactive, the animal has to dramatically slow down its metabolic rate, sometimes to the lowest 2% of normal activity. This means that all the non-essential processes are completely turned off and the essential ones are reduced to a bare minimum, just to keep the animal alive. For mammals, the key component is allowing the body temperature to fall. Keeping a mammal warm is one of the major uses of energy in warm-blooded animals. Heartbeats, even for small animals, may slow down to just a couple of beats per minute, and breathing may be reduced to just one breath every two minutes. They also generally recycle what would normally be waste proteins in the urine, avoiding the need to urinate, at the same time preventing the need to actually go and drink. What water is lost through respiration, generally replaced as the fat reserves are used up, so this process actually produces a significant amount of water. Now finally, more, learning more about hibernation could have significant implications for us as humans. Medical operations to have low temperatures could allow the, the body to exist longer on the operating table than it would otherwise be the case. Also, it may have implications for long distance space travel, all by learning more about hibernation in animals.